Hey there, it's Kimberly Lucked, and today I want to talk to you about a fear of something that actually doesn't get talked about a lot. Can you guess what it is? Not fear of success, not fear of failure, but fear of rest. Now let me explain. Something that I see a lot, especially within the entrepreneurial world, is kind of this feeling of never being able to take a break, be off email or social media, be just kind of in a state of doing nothing. And as the summer months draw closer and become kind of our everyday of like, there's beautiful weather outside, we wanna to go to the beach, we wanna to go to the pool, we wanna spend time outside with the people that we love, that can really, really take us down a notch of not being able to truly 100% relax in this present moment. And so let me break this down a little bit. I think when we fear going into a state of rest, we think that we won't be able to get enough done or we won't be able to do the things that we already committed to. When we feel like we can't stop or slow down or even just take one thing off of our to-do list, it's something that I think connects back to a fear that we're not enough or we're not doing enough which I think also relates to fear of success and fear of failure, because fear of failure is like, we're afraid of thinking that we're not enough. We're afraid of having confirmation that we're not enough. The fear of success is related to the fear that we're not gonna be able to do enough to maintain the success. Fear of rest relates to both because the fear of not being able to relax on a beautiful day and lie down on the couch for even just 10 or 15 minutes, the thought that we constantly have to do things and be somewhere and be something and be someone and do all the things, it's not helping us do our best work. And so when you're on, you wanna be on. When you're off, you wanna be off. But being in the middle all the time is something that's just not sustainable. It's not gonna work. And if you've been in that space for a while, maybe you hear me when I say, there's a better way, right? There's a better way. <laughs> and so I want you to take a deep breath just right now, rolling the shoulders back and inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth, <sighs> even just for a second, resting in this moment with me, wherever you are in the world, knowing that I'm holding this space for you to just take a chill pill just for right now just resting, just letting this come through and letting, letting yourself feel a little relaxed just in this moment. It's, you have done more than enough, you are enough. Let that sink in. And then coming into that a little bit more, coming into that energy of, yes, I've done more than enough today. I'm always doing more than enough. Like there's never a day that I'm not doing enough. What could it mean if you actually did less but got more done? What could that mean for you? And what if that meant that you could also then rest and rest with a 100% presence within that? Being in the bathtub and not thinking about tomorrow, not thinking about what's still going on for the rest of the day. Being able to get ready in the morning without rushing, without having to like feel like you have to be somewhere right now eating your food within that presence and really deeply feeling and tasting what's going in your mouth. What could that look like? What could rest look like for you? Do you have a fear of rest? I actually have a t-shirt that one of my friends gave me that says rest is essential, not a reward. And honey, I want you to set up your life in a way that has rest at the center, at the core of what you do every single day. Rest is essential, not a reward. And so the fear of not doing enough, the fear of doing nothing, they're related. And I want you to think about how you could slowly unravel both of those fears because A, you're always doing more than enough, and B, the fear of doing nothing stems more so from that. And we can unravel both. And so on a day like today, where it's beautiful outside, where the pool is just calling your name, where the beach is calling your name, maybe one of these days in the summer, you'll take a look at the water and be like, I'm coming for you, honey. I'm coming to take a dip because it's too important. This is your life to live. And if you're not living today, when will you? When will be the moment that you're able to say, yep, 
I'm taking a break for two weeks. I'm not checking email, I'm not checking my phone, I'm not checking social media. When will that day be, if not today? If this is the permission slip or hall pass that you needed to play hooky on the day, go for it. I'm not gonna tell anybody, but it's just a permission slip that, hey, maybe the next two minutes can be for you to rest. Let's take the fear of rest and make it a thing of the past. Go to bed tonight early, rest up on the couch, call it a day. You can leave your work for tomorrow. It'll be there waiting for you always and you'll always have more time to do it. More time to sink into the now, to sink into this moment, to sink into rest. That's where life and juicy moments happen. Taking moments with your loved ones, taking moments with just yourself and your divine connection with the universe, God, whatever you call it. That's where the magic happens. And that's where your guides and all the energy comes through you your epiphanies come through in the shower for a reason. Those beautiful ideas on a walk come through for a reason. When you're in a state of rest, you are so much more likely to receive all good things. I've seen it happen for myself and my business with like receiving money, receiving client requests, receiving really amazing ideas when I'm in that state of rest. And so if anything else, Know that this is your hall pass. This is your permission slip to take it easy, take a chill pill. It's summertime, baby. Go outside and enjoy the weather. Enjoy the sun, enjoy the water, the nature around you. And I hope that this helps. I can't wait to hear how this feels for you and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.